Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome social media influencer, superstar, Logan Paul. Hey, man. Sorry, dude. How are you right here? Come have a seat. Come have a seat. Hi. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I don't like sitting. Can you tell? Uh, well, I'll sit. Okay, I'm, I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit. I get to look sit. up at you. Hey, hi, everybody. So, Logan, where did it all go wrong? <laughs> where did it all go right? I think you meant to say. Um, so what's up, guys? My name is Logan Paul. I'm here to teach you a little bit about influence. Real quickly, can everyone just say hi to my vlog? Hey. So if you have a kid, a niece, or a nephew, they just watch that. <laughs> um, a lot of people have come to watch my vlogs. And the reason I'm here is because a lot of brands also watch my vlogs. And I've learned a lot about brand building, how to partner with brands, how to create my own brands, how to push product on the market and actually move the needle when it comes to moving money. Um, and although I'm young, I've done a lot of things in my life. And hopefully, I can say some things today that can help you become a social media king. Well, that's why we brought you all the way from mm -hmm. LA. Uh, let me ask, you're 22. Yeah. You're from Ohio? Yeah. <laughs> what we used to think of as the Rust Belt. Mm hmm. You're now in uh, Los Angeles? Yep, yep, yep. Living the life? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it to me. Um, how did it all start? <clears throat> I, think, uh, I think this is. This is, this is one of the keys to my success. I think there's something inherent about um, what became of my life. When I was 10 years old, I uploaded my first video on YouTube. So I've been doing this for 12 years. You know, it doesn't just happen. Even before um, the past year, before it, it, it got crazy, before I was able to bring 11,000 people to a mall, uh, I was still making content on the internet. I was still big. Um, but there was an exponential growth that happened. And it's just because I, I have an inherent love for video and creating. Um, and even though when I was 10, becoming an actor or a YouTube star wasn't a thing in Ohio, bro. Like, I was bailing hay and moving wood. <laughs> like, uh, so yeah, there's, just, there's something natural about it that I've been fortunate enough to be you, born into. You put a lot of effort into your videos, though, don't you? I do. I do. A yeah. lot of editing. A lot, a lot of, of editing. Post production. I'm, yes. Um, Another key to success is I, I surround myself with the right people. Literally, I have the best team. We, we have a motto, killers only. So people who are the best in their field, because I'm smart enough to realize that I'm not the best videographer. So I got the best videographer. I got the best manager. I got the best PR people. I got the best editor. And together, it just creates this brand, this business um, that has today become a household name. And you got 45 million followers across various social media platforms. 50. 50. Yeah. So it's grown five million just since you came to Dubai. Yeah, probably. You, you should have come earlier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why has it grown like that? Um, okay, I think, I think there's, there's sharing that can be done through social media when you actually hit a share or a retweet. Mm -hmm. But there's also, um, which I think is a little more familiar to this world, the word of mouth effect, mm. and I have gotten to achieve that as well. So the kids go to school, and they talk about what happened in the vlog the day before, uh, versus just sharing a funny video. It's like, it's become episodic. These kids, I watch me 15 minutes a day, they're a part of my life, mm. and so they want to tell their friends about it, and when I do the crazy things like um, filling a first class bathroom with my clothing line, uh, the kids go to school, they talk about it, and then it gets occasionally typical mainstream media press as well. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. The best marketing ever. Best marketing ever. And you know what's crazy is until about six months ago, I didn't realize that because I'm a social media guy. Yeah. And then when it became like, oh, snap, this is, this is like people are talking in real life about this, um, that's when I think the celebrity effect mm -hmm. sort of happens. Now, when you started this as a kid, I said it was a hobby you were starting. It was a right? hobby, yeah. Yeah. When did it turn into a business? Or when did you realize, hey, this could be a business? I was 18. Yeah. It took me eight years. <clears throat> um, I was in college. I was, I was doing Vine, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> there goes social media. <laughs> no, yo, crazy. <laughs> the platform that birthed me on social yeah. media is literally <laughs> gone. What's going to die next? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I made my first, uh, I think it was $2,000 on a branded Vine. And 
I was like, wow, I can get, I can get paid to make a video? Wait, I'm already making videos. I think I kind of like this. <laughs> and uh, I had a couple big-ish brand deals, and it made me realize that I, I, if I wanted to, I could move to Los Angeles and pursue entertainment, which is what I did. Did the brands approach you? Yeah. How do you handle that? Uh, very st strategically. Um, you can imagine, I'm at the point where I, I, I don't, uh, I don't need brand money. I don't uh, prefer it. I prefer building my own brands, but... Which is Maverick. Which is the Maverick brand, and we're going to be doing a bunch of different things right now. But what I do love is if I can partner with a brand who has the same goals and values and, and brand awareness as me, that's like when it becomes truly organic, because every brand deal I've ever done has literally been the best ever. Like that they've ever done. I'm, I am the best in the world at integrating brands into content on social media. There's no one better than I am. And that's because I carefully choose who I'm going to do it with and how I'm going to do it with. Um, Haynes was one of the first big brand deals that I did that was like, okay, like I have enough money to move to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And they let me do my thing. They gave me creative control. Granted, we went back and forth, but um, it's become just this, it's, it's a flawless integration into my life. What, what you're saying, I think, is that you and your values have to be on the same page as the brand and its values. Absolutely. It has to. Otherwise, otherwise I'm a sellout. Otherwise, I'm, I'm just doing social media for money. And I've, and I've never done that. I think that's also important. I've never, I've never created content for money. Like, I, I love making videos. And if a brand can also um, increase or heighten the Logan Paul brand, the Maverick brand, and make a video that's shareable, that helps me as well. It's not, it's not just about the money. You must have turned, uh, thank you, you must have, so it, that's paper, by the way. What is that? Paper. What, what is it made of? Uh, well, they, they grow trees. Trees they like. They them down. And they turn them into this. Paper. Yeah, it's, um, you can get it in the British Museum. Paper. Paper. Got it. <laughs> you learn something new every day. <laughs> there must have been brands you've turned down then. Every day. Every day. Bro. Shout out Jake Paul. Yeah. And you, there's no problem doing that. Quite proud of it. Helps your brand. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> My stock goes up. Where do you go from here? Biggest entertainer in the world. Is that, that's the aim, yeah? That's a fact. How'd you do that? How? Yeah. I use the platforms I've built as a stepping stone to act in movies, to create other brands that will become bigger than me and outgrow me, mm -hmm. to create talent and foster talent that will Nah, not become bigger than me, <laughs> but, <laughs> but become hopefully just as big as me um, and, and build a 360 degree business around the name Logan Paul. It's very interesting. To me, I'm Logan, mm -hmm. but like Logan Paul has become a thing and it's synonymous with the Maverick brand now. Um, yeah. Tell it's, us about the Maverick brand. So it's really funny. We've been in business for maybe six months, and it's absolutely taken over the planet. Um, it's just a movement that kind of resonates with me because when I was a kid, I was the weird one, I was the goofy one. And people looked at me funny. When I was making videos on Vine, no one supported me in my hometown, not a single person. <laughs> but I like making videos. So I kept making videos and look at me now type thing. So I'm preaching to people that it's okay to be different, it's okay to be unique, be passionate, pursue mm -hmm. your goals, no matter how weird it is or how people look at you or how impossible it is. Everyone lives in, in a bubble, and I want them to expand their brain and, and go beyond the bubble and do what needs to be done to achieve their goals. And that's what the Maverick brand is, and that's, that's what it stands for. And it's going well. It's going very well, yeah. Do you, will it come a time when all you really do is your own brand, that you won't even need other brands. We've done it for the past really? year. I mean, I've done maybe like one or two brand deals, but like it's, I've, I've become obsessed with the idea of, of owning not only my IP, but my product. Mm. 
there's, why would I not do that? And I'm like, I'm no longer just a social media influencer. Yeah, I do that, but I'm becoming, I'm the voice of a generation. Kids will do what I say um, because I, I, like I said, it's flawless integration. It's, it's weaving product or um, whether it's a, a campaign or a philanthropy. And if I put it into my stuff, I can, I can change that into a language that the youth, the millennials, even Generation Z will understand. Um, and it's crazy because I'm, I'm 22. 18 to 24 is my demographic, but it also skews younger. Those are the kids who show up to the mall. We were there yesterday. Yeah, yeah. but like when I go to college, honestly, it's worse. The university, these kids are 20 years old. So, but they'll be older than the average age yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the demographic spread, spread. Oh, it spreads. Oh, you can imagine, dude. Like, as a 22-year-old male, not you don't always want to come to a mall to see a kid your age. You know, that's a, that's what the that's what the younger kids want to do. But uh, yeah. If you had to sum up your talent, what would you say it is? Uh, transcendental. There's nothing I can't do. Literally. I'm good at everything. <laughs> could you do my expenses? I could. I don't want to. <laughs> I could. <laughs> yeah, it would take too long <laughs> to do. People out there representing brands, give them some advice about how to deal with social influencers. Because th there are some out there that they should be wary of, I would suggest. Every, every, every I can, area I can has I tell that. you all of them right now. Um, choose the right influencer. It's very clear who's going to win and who's not. It's very clear who's the, who are the stars, like the actual stars, not just people who have a couple million followers or even tens of millions of followers. Do they have engagement? Do they have influence? Can they move the needle? Those are, those are things you need to think of. Um, I guess like examples, Lele Pons, mm -hmm. Wampa Zarita, Liza Koshy, huge stars. And, and mark my words, all three of those will transcend beyond social media. So it's going to grow. This is not a bubble. It's not a bubble. It is not a bubble. It's so crazy because, like, bro, when I started social media, I never thought it would turn into this. Yeah. I don't know what I thought. And, like, honestly, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a baby. I'm at the baby stages of my career. And I'm, I'm already pretty big. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just exciting, man. And as long as, as long as, the right people keep working hard and doing what they do, keep pushing themselves to create next level content, you're good. But you said something important, Ali. You surrounded yourself with good advice. The most important yeah. thing, I cannot do this alone. Mm -hmm. It may look like it, but I cannot. And I think, I think, I think it's evident to the people who like know how, how a business is built, but I absolutely cannot do this alone. Literally, everyone on my team is the best. Yeah. I, I, I have the best agent in the game, CAA, Paul Kazers, right there. There we go. We're Literally. going to speak to him in a minute. Yeah, he's the best in the world. Like, everyone is the best. And that's I just story. happen to be the face. <laughs> Are you going to sell shares in yourself? What did you say? Are you going to sell shares in yourself? Where's my manager, Jeff? He's the best. Can we do that? <laughs> Can we sell shares of myself? Once we go public, you, you should gonna, invest. You're going to go public? Maybe. Maybe. See, look, see, like, look. <laughs> see, I don't know the answers. So you don't do. You got to so ask the guy. That's good advice. It was great that's advice. Good advice. So you might go public at some stage, yeah? Look, sir. Maybe. You guys I should invest. Should, should, is it going to be friends and family? Because we're now all your friends. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> and maybe some family as well. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? You're going to take some questions from the audience. Sure. Does anyone have any questions yeah. for the vlog boy? Okay, let me. There's a gentleman here right in the front. Let's get a mic. If we could put the house lights up just a little bit, we'll get to see people at the back who want to ask. Yeah. Mr. Logan Paul, what is up? What's Finally up? good to see you, hey. man. Finally good to see you. I got two questions for you. One of them is if you put social media influencer, let's say, uh, in three simple words, how to go viral, what would you tell the creators? Hmm. Three simple words. OK. You can use four. I'm not going to do it. All I need is three. OK. <laughs> uh, unique. <sighs> I 
<laughs> this is tough. I'd say unique, passionate, and dedication. Hard there work. you go. Hard work. There you have it. Quick question number two. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Who said you could have two questions? I just had a two-part question. I just wanted to know what's up with the shoes. There you go. Hey, Gucci, bro. Got him. <laughs> Gucci ring, Gucci shoes. There you go. Ah. Okay. Thank you, man. I got you, bro. You mean they're not Maverick shoes? Oh, they're coming soon. <laughs> Are they coming to Dubai? Yes. Yes? Yes. Dubai Mall. We want a Maverick shop in between Adidas and Nike. I saw a Lacoste store there. Right. Lacoste can go. Whereas you would be pay and take. Yeah. <laughs> Another question. <laughs> yeah, there's a young person there. Let's see, their microphone. Hold on. Where are the mics? Let's get the mics roaming. Can't keep people waiting. <laughs> Is that right? That's not right. Hi. I have a quick question. Um, Good. You talked about how important it is to create next level content. So I'm wondering what makes Logan Paul, an expert at creating really entertaining content, think, wow, this Cause is Because I'm level crazy! <laughs> I don't care about can anything! You, can I'll you give us an example of what made you think, oh my god, this is amazing? Um, uh, okay. Okay. Two examples, quick examples. I don't know if you guys have seen my video of me dabbing at the Olympics. Um, basically, I, I went with my roommate and at the Olympics. We, we, looked, we dressed up like dumb Americans. And at every Olympic event, we went to every single one, we would, we would dab. And the, we're great characters, so the cameras would always point at us as cutaways. Then I went home and found all the footage on the respective um, TV channels from different countries across the nation. No one's doing that. Took them all. Made a video out of it, it got like 60 million views in seven days, and then got removed because I took the videos from the TV channels of the respective televisions. <laughs> and, uh, because <laughs> no one's doing that, because they're maybe smarter than me. Another example, I put my, um, my dwarf friend, his name is Dwarf Mamba, Evan Ecken wrote, in a bag, and I shipped him to Paris. No one's doing that. <laughs> probably <laughs> just as well. Probably no one's doing that, yeah. Can um, you do a bit of dabbing now? But the question is, can you? No. <laughs> and even if I could, I wouldn't show you. Can we get a microphone to my young friend down here, please? He's got a question. And let me see some other hands. We'll get a microphone to you. Yeah, there's a, a young lady there. We'll get a microphone to you. Yes. What would you have done differently? Nothing. The answer is nothing. nothing. But, but if there's one thing. But if there's one thing I would have done differently, uh, if you're under the age of 18 in here, raise your hand. Great, there's like two of you. P plug your ears. I would have dropped out of school earlier. You, you would have dropped out earlier? I went to college for a year. I was a geek. I, I, I dropped out with a 4.0, like I was perfect. Um, but who knows, if I had another year lead in Los Angeles, who knows, bro? Yeah. Oh, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Dropped out. <laughs> Steve Jobs. He dropped out of school. So many people. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I know, like, you know, a lot, a lot of billionaires and millionaire, multimillionaires Richard dropped out Branson, of school. Richard Branson, he dropped out. I know. Steve Jobs, yeah, yeah. I, I just school dropping out of school is not for everyone. No. Pe people should people no, should stay in school. No, most of you should do your homework and go to school. People should stay in school. There's only one Logan Paul. Yes. Uh, moving on. Um, I'm a mum of four. Congratulations. You're my daughter's first celebrity crush. Oh, that's um, amazing. Secondly, um, social responsibility. With so many followers, so many young followers, you just said drop out of school. Um, but don't, do you feel pressure to be socially responsible towards your followers? Um, yeah. Yeah, there is a bit. It's not, I don't want to call it pressure. It's awareness, social awareness of what I'm doing. And... Um, it's stuff like the, the mall meet and greet that makes me realize, like, I, I am the voice of a generation. What I say goes. The things I say really resonate with the youth. And who knows who, like, here's the scary part. Who knows who I'm creating? There were the kids that I watched when I was 10 or 11. It, their names was, were uh, Smosh. They were the biggest YouTubers at the time. Still are pretty big on YouTube. But they influenced me to become me. So who knows how many kids I'm influencing? Um, 
that are be gonna become the next president, um, the next social media influencer, the biggest actors in the world, who knows? Uh, so yes, I'm, I'm, I'm wary of, of, of that, and I, I take that responsibility, I don't take it lightly. Another question. Hi, hi, um, I'm Danae with Women's Health, Men's Health magazine. Where are you? Uh, hi, here? Hi, Danae. Hi. There you go. <laughs> I'm Logan. I, <laughs> over here. I can barely see you. Ah. There you go. On you go. I was just wondering, how do you ensure transparency when you work with brands? Uh, how do I ensure transparency as far as between me and the audience or between me and the brand? Me, between me and the audience? Yeah. Uh, it's easy. I mean, like I said, if I'm, if I'm sticking my name on a brand, like if I'm doing a brand deal for Nike, mm. that's cool to me. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of that. I'm like, I'm doing it because I think Nike's going to make me better. So to me, it's like, yo, guys, I partnered with Nike. You all know Nike. One of the coolest brands in the world. That's cool to me. But do your followers know that you're being paid? Yeah, I, that's I mean, clear. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't want to say yet. So I, I would gander to say most of them assume. Probably not. They don't know how much, but like, there's there's no shame in it, man. Like, if I, I've always said, if it's making my content better, better, and it's already great. If it's making it better. Like, there's no reason. Why, like, why would someone not want to watch it just because it's a brand? That's absurd. Another question. Yeah, there's a hand right there in the middle, and then there's one behind, and there's one in front. Here we go. You can ask questions over on that Yo, side, Brandon. too. They're shy it's over there. there. Yeah? Shy go. Hi, Logan, Alex here. Hi. Uh, what do you think is the most important platform going forward? Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, yeah. to get to your kind of level. Do you need to be a YouTuber, do you think? I met someone from Instagram and Facebook when I walked in. Yeah. Plug your ears. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube is YouTube. the most important? YouTube, for sure. Why do you think that? Uh, there's a difference between kids watching you for 60 seconds on Instagram or like looking at your pictures mm -hmm. versus watching for 15 minutes every single day. Like, there's a reason Bieber and Kim Kardashian don't have the type of response that, that I did when I walked through the mall. These kids feel like they know me. Because they see you on video. Yeah, and it's crazy, because like, I, I, I didn't have that growing up. I never watched vlogs. The closest thing I can, I can relate to that and like, tell you like, how they feel is um, when I was first coming up um, online, I was, I was backstage at some, some concert, and Miley Cyrus walked by me. Mm -hmm. And like, dude, to me, I know Miley Cyrus. I watch her every day on the Disney Channel. So I was like, I was like Miley. Like, <laughs> like, she's my friend. She has no idea who I am. She has absolutely no idea. And I, like, in my head, I knew Miley Cyrus. Like, we were tight. <laughs> and then, like, I had to check myself. I was like, yo, she literally has no idea who I am. How can I expect her to know? And so, for me, it's like, oh, these kids see me. And they're like, oh, like, yo, it's, it's Logan. That's my boy. It's interesting, though, because the, 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 the platforms that you use, they do change. I mean, some, as you just mentioned, Vine. Uh, some of us remember MySpace. Uh, you know, what happened to that? Um, Twitter seems not yet established itself as a business. Uh, you use Instagram a lot. Yeah. YouTube, which has been around for, it seems like forever now, but that's for you as the one. Yeah, and what you just said too, like YouTube's been around. Like yeah. YouTube's here to stay. Yeah. Who knows? Vinyls come and go. Um, Telescope, what happened to that? T t what? Telescope? Periscope. <laughs> Periscope. <laughs> Just checking if you were listening. Uh, no, no. Per Periscope. Periscope. Gone. I, I, I knew that was going to happen. Did you? Yeah, absolutely. I told him. I, I told manager Jeff. Meerkat, Periscope, the live streaming platforms. No way. But I've gotten w w one thing I'm very good at, and what the three other people who I named are very good at, is uh, hopping from platform to platform. platform. You got you to know where the, where the tide is going and, and what you're going to do next. I'm not going to be vlogging forever. I'm going to be vlogging for probably another one to two years. Right. And then it's on to the next thing. And at it, that time, I'll have, I'll have... Do you know what the next thing is? Uh, no, I know. No, yet. I don't know. It, and, it, and, it, and it might not be... This is my guess. Mm -hmm. it, it might not be a next thing. Mm -hmm. I think, I think the, the parents have formed... Parents? What was that? 
I think uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Um, for the younger kids, musically, like those are the big boys, right? They've all been around. I don't think yeah. another thing is just gonna come up and just. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think the switch is gonna be what I'm doing, yeah. brand-wise. Couple more questions. Lady at the front here. And let me get one on this side. Yes, over there, the young lady over there. Okay. Yes. First of all, my eight-year-old son is absolutely obsessed with you. Whoa. If you can give him a shout out, his name is Yusuf. I miss work just to be here, just to get this shout out. Who's filming? My colleague right here. Yusuf. Oh my God! Yusuf. I just won Your mother. Mom's a savage. Look where we are. Hey. Yusuf. Thanks for being in the low game, bro. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I just won Mother of the Year award, so thank you for that. You got it. What advice and what advice would you give? Like he wants to be a YouTuber, but as a mom, I'm so worried about all the trolls online. So what advice do you give to someone who's eight years old who wants to put content up, and of all the haters that may comment and just like destroy his spirit? So hard, so tough. It's horrible. It's, it's horrible. When my mom goes, I want to do vlogs. My mom vlogs, guys. She, she's got like 700,000 subscribers. This is my mother. She's 55. When she goes, I want to do vlogs. I'm like, mom, you have no idea. The internet is going to tear you apart. She's like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Week later, calls me sobbing. Look at you. won't believe what these people are saying about me. Are my wrinkles really that bad? Am I not funny? I'm like, mom, I told you. You gotta have iron skin, but as an eight-year-old, it's hard to have iron skin, cause you're eight. <laughs> so, I'd say, I'd say, if if you, you gotta, if you know you wanna be a YouTuber and an influencer, just know the hate is coming. The negative comments are when I I had acne in college when I was doing vines, and like I get comments like you look like a burn victim, whatever, and I'm like, ow. Like, they heard me. But at the end of the day, you're like, who cares? There's like five of them saying that. Oh, so they're brave when they're anonymous. Sometimes they're brave in person. To your face? <laughs> not to my face. No, it's like, exactly. Nah, not to my face, bro. Exactly. It's like on a car driving by. <laughs> yeah. Funny story. <laughs> in Twitter, you can block them. We could block them anywhere, technically. But you can. This, yeah. But Tougher on YouTube, I don't think. I mean, you can. You can block. You can block many. It just. It's, it's, a, just the same. it's, a, it's a nasty underside. Oh, everyone's got something to say. Everyone yeah. just wants to be heard. Negative or positive. Um, who cares? One more question. Yes, lady there. Well, we'll take two. We'll go one there and one down here. Yes. Keep your hand up. We'll get the mic to you. There you are. Hi. Um, my daughter's name is Zena. She's. Um, a big fan of yours, as most of the people are here. Um, my question to you is how do you connect with Arabs? So we are clearly Arabs, and I can um, think of how Americans do connect with you very well. But what about the kids in this uh, part of the world? So yesterday she was a uh, part of the event, and everyone was there, like probably 70% of them were Arabs. So how do you deal with that? How do you get their attention as well? It's a great question. Right off the bat, I would, I would say I, I don't know. One of, one, of the, one of the biggest surprises is how we've gone global. Mm. Kids all over the globe watch my vlogs. I didn't, I didn't know the majority of people here spoke English. So when I'm meeting these kids and, and talking to them, I'm like, oh, first off, how do you know English? How are you allowed to watch my vlogs? And everyone just does it. So it's, it's not that I, 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 I'm just me, and I know how to speak to the, to, to the youth and kids my age. And uh, I feel like no matter where you are in the world, there's a, there's a seedling of entertainment, knowledge, whatever it is you take from my, my content that applies to everyone. It's global. It's global. I will say, for this specific event, um, I got my boy Shiraz to uh, tell his fiance to tell me some words in Arabic. Um, where are Shiraz and Megan? Hey, hey, where's Megan? Is she here? Megan, Megan taught me some Arabic words. Um, so I learned some things in Arabic, we made some content in Arabic, and then we just, huh. where's Shiraz? I'm, I'm looking at his picture down here, but uh, yeah, we made an effort to, to connect to Arabian culture. Let's hear from this young person down here. So, 
um, uh, how can you upload videos every day? Do you like get tired of it or like <laughs> it's hard work? <laughs> it's very hard work. I'm a machine. Yeah. And um, like I just started a YouTube channel and um, like I, I moved from uh, the Netherlands to Dubai, but I talk uh, Dutch in my vlogs because most of my friends talk Dutch. But do you recommend me to talk English or yeah. Dutch? Okay. English, English, yeah. Good question. Can I also get a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Three good questions. Three great questions. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've uh, run out of time, and we're grateful for you. Uh, Thank you. Because you know it's busy. The, clearly, when you uh, went out on the social media platforms, told people to turn up, they all turned up yesterday. This can happen almost wherever you are in the world. It shows the power that you and others like you have, and you've got power uh, to build your own brand and power to build out other brands, too. In a world which is, uh, seems to have a lot of problems at the moment, and we could maybe do with a bit more peace, yes. a bit more understanding of the importance of diversity, a uh, bit more equality, maybe just a little bit more of a sense that we are global citizens. Would you, could you and the people like you maybe do a little bit more in that direction? We, we have to. Um, I'm. I'm like I've said, I've done a lot of stuff, and uh, a lot of my content's like goofy or funny or whatever, but I'm, I'm getting the fire in my stomach, I'm getting the craving to act actually make a, a, a global mark, like a, like a mark that, that really um, can, can change the way people look at other humans. I, I despise racism, I despise sexism, um, I, I, th I, I think we're all humans, and, I, and I'm eventually going to push that on, on my audience and, and have my friends push that on the audience, because that's something I believe. It's just, you know, as you can imagine, it's not the easiest thing to just hop into, into doing that from like the content I do to like, sure. we're all equal. Granted, we are, and I do say that, but there's gonna be a thing, there's gonna be a big, big, big movement. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's gonna happen. Good. We wish you luck on Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. And do you come back and see us? Of course. Yo, I love Dubai. Logan Paul. Thank you, bro. Thank, Thank you. you. You're great. Thank you very much. Logan Paul.